Greetings, wise ones, and welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. Today's video is about the lunar wisdom formula for harnessing the energy of the Virgo new moon of 2023. This lunation offers us an opportunity to focus on self-improvement and helping those around us through being of service. And I'm presenting eight ways to make the most of this energy. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and don't forget to like it, to share, this information with more wise ones via the YouTube algorithm. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more new and full moon lunar wisdom formulas for your own stellar planning practice. brings forth a powerful opportunity to be of service and to engage in selfless dedication. This new moon represents our inner programming, the way in which we enact our plans on the earthly plane, and relates to the areas of work and our health and wellness. So this will be the energetic tone of this new lunar cycle beginning on September 14th. Virgo happens to be ruled by Mercury, which is the winged god and communication hub of the zodiac. It expresses Mercury different from the other Mercury rule sign of Gemini with more earthen and practical aspects of being meticulous with attention to detail, organization, and of course, a desire to serve others. Very similar to the signs, symbol, and archetype of the fair maiden. This new moon is encouraging us to channel our inner Virgo energy and inspiring us to embark on a journey of service to ourselves, to our communities, and beyond. It is prompting us to set intentions focused on self-improvement, order, cleanliness, and helping those in need. Under this lunation, we are reminded that even the smallest acts of kindness, mentorship, and education can have a profound impact on ourselves and into the world around us. The Virgo new moon is calling us to embrace the spirit of service and to nurture our souls as we help uplift those around us. These actions foster a sense of harmony and empathy that extends far beyond just our immediate environment and circles we touch. It has a ripple effect that goes out to our community at large. So we're going to focus this video on eight ways that we can get into the spirit of service and serving others as a way of putting the lunar energy and our new moon intentions into ritual and action, which will allow you to manifest really big in 2023. So without further ado, let's get to those tips. Starting with number one, planning and setting intentions. As I said before, Virgo is a practical earth sign. It's also mutable in energy 
which means it starts and ends a season. So it can be a switch hitter. But Virgo's practical nature requires us to have a plan and details to make things happen. So I highly encourage you to begin this lunar cycle with going into deep thought and meditation so that you can set clear intentions for the lunar month ahead. What are some of the service oriented goals that you want to achieve, especially related to the house that is ruled by Virgo? Write them down and meditate on them under this new moon energy for the next two and a half days to really get this energy kick-started. Number two, self-care. And I know you hear me speak about this a lot, but caring for yourself allows you to better care for others. And this is essential to selfless service. So prioritize self-care routines like exercise, meditation, detox baths to recharge your energy because this will heighten your instincts and your ability to manifest more by being well vented and grounded. Overall, Virgo energy demands that we demonstrate through our actions how high up we are on our own priority list and not just through lip service. Number three, organizing and decluttering. Cleansing physical spaces is an absolute necessity to manifest. A tidy environment promotes mental clarity and can help you to better support those in need. How you do this can be potentially in a shared environment, such as your office at work or maybe your co-working space. Or maybe you want to do this for a loved one to call in more blessings for you both. Remember, to call more things in, you must create a vacuum. And the vacuum created while serving others can make you irresistibly magnetic. Number four, volunteering. Seek out local and or global volunteering opportunities. Whether it's a food bank, going to an animal shelter, spending time at your community center, giving of your time and skills can make a difference. These efforts set forth powerful energy in motion that will return to you tenfold when done from a space of love and altruism. Number five, donating, tithing, and seed money. I wanna suggest that you consider giving back by potentially donating to a charitable organization or contributing to fundraisers for a worthy cause. This is one of the easiest ways to use money as a tool to serve others. But there are other ways to engage in financial forms of service, such as giving a tenth of your earnings to the person, place, or organization that feeds your soul. This is actually the non-religious definition of tithing, something that I am very big on doing, especially with significant Virgo placements in my own chart. Another way is to plant a seed with your money. And by doing that, I mean gifting funds to others. It could also be food or other material resources. At whatever amount you feel comfortable with in support of their health, well-being, growth, and or abundance. The key to planting seed money is to bless the money as you sow the seed with another person or organization and to call it back immediately multiply by 10. This is one of the financial abundance secrets used by America's richest families like 
the Rockefellers and the Carnegies, still to this day, planting the seed, calling forth its harvest at the moment it's planted is really a spiritual and financial service to both you and the recipients. Number six, mentorship. We all have innate gifts and talents that are a blessing to us and make our paths easier. Consider the ways that you can share your knowledge and experience with someone who is in need of guidance, for this is a sacred act. Mentorship, in any of the myriad of ways possible, is a powerful form of service that can empower others at the same time that it can fill your bucket around serving simultaneously. Number seven, acts of kindness. It's important for us to remember that small gestures can have a big impact. Think about ways in which you can offer a helping hand, lend an empathetic ear, or perform random acts of kindness for others. These actions taken in the spirit of goodness create an infinite loop that feed the soul on the deepest levels and prepare your tables for blessings beyond measure to rush in, especially if you've created that vacuum. And last, but definitely not least, is educating and skill sharing. Share your personal or professional expertise with those around you by offering to teach, to do a lecture, or to unpack your skill with someone who can help you do that on a larger scale. Empowering others with knowledge is one of the most gratifying experiences you can have because you have taught a man or woman to fish, not just given them fish, which creates dependency. Being willing to share your knowledge and skills is a form of service that pays dividends both to the teacher and the student. And so, wise ones, there you have it. Eight ways to be of service under the Virgo new moon to help you manifest big. I hope that you can find ways to channel the growing masculine energy of the next two weeks of this waxing and masculine portion of this 28th day lunar month to be of service to others. Remember, helping those around you contributes to a more compassionate and harmonious world. It is through embracing the energy of the heart of service with this Virgo new moon that we can make the most positive aspect, not only in the lives of others, but in our own lives, especially in the areas of health, wellness, and stress management. I want to thank you for taking the time, if you're still here, to check out this video and to be open to learning about how to apply the Lunar Wisdom Formula as a manifestation tool for your highest good. May your journey of service be a fulfilling and rewarding one during these last moments of Virgo season, especially with Mercury retrograde slated to end on the following day of September 15th. And remember, life does come with an instruction manual. It is written in the stars. Until next time, wise ones, bye for now and blessed be. 
to apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports, two multi-package reports, and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary for a soft life. Click the link below to get my free top seven beauty therapy and self-care tips and the beauty therapy checklist. Learn to manifest by the moon with my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula. It helps women stay in tune with feminine energy and manifest a life that feels as good as it looks. The 2023 edition comes with a bonus moon calendar and important dates. Click the link in the description below. Get more out of your beauty treatments and self-care by aligning them with the moon's mood and phase. In my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula for Beauty and Self-Care. This guide does all the hard work for you so you can get greater benefits from your self-care and live a softer life by the moon. Link in the description below. Introducing our newest book, Guide to Herbal Remedies, packed with information on how to use herbs and plants to promote health and well-being. The guide includes detailed information on a wide range of herbs and their healing properties, as well as recipes for teas, tinctures, and other remedies you can make at home. Whether you're looking to boost your immune system, reduce stress and anxiety, or treat common ailments, this guide has everything you need to get started with natural healing. Join us as we explore the world of herbal remedies and discover how you can use the power of plants to support your health and well-being. Plus, two bonus items for getting herbal tools and using herbs to smudge so you can round out your herbal med medicine cabinet and toolkit. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code, 8th House Wisdom, for 11% off high quality, ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Triple your blessings and manifestations this year by downloading a free copy of the 2023 Stellar Year Blueprint. It's my formula for applying astrology to align your life to the natural cycles for greater ease and grace. Click the link in the description below to download yours today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2023 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop. Triple your new year manifestations with astrology. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Go deep in the astrology 
for 2023 and set the tone for how you want to feel this year with the 2023 Stellar Year Blueprint with Free and Clear and the Desire Map. Get in-depth information on my stellar planning process plus 19 multimedia lessons, a workbook, tools, and resources to really have a stellar 2023. Use the link in the description or go to thewisdombeacon.com. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.